Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to generate files in Flutter using code generation technique. So let's see the code for Flutter Kolkata. Here we are building the website and we have some images here. So it is inside the asset slash image folder. So in order to generate your code for this, right? If you don't generate your code, you just have to write the whole path every time, right? So you will write image dot asset, then you will give slash uh, asset slash image slash the file name. But I don't want to do that. So what can I do? What I can I do is I can create a asset dot gen dot dot file where I will get all the image in the same place. You can either do it manually or if I am if you are lazy like me, you will use code generation technique. So in order to do that, we need few packages inside our spec.yaml file and those are freeze annotation, json annotation, build runner, flutter gen runner and this flutter gen runner and flutter build runner will be inside dev dependencies along with freeze and json serializable. You may wonder why I have added so many of them, right? Because in this package, I am also creating or I am also generating code for my block. So I am using block pattern here and I am using freeze to generate code for block. So alongside with build runner, we also need to use freeze in order to create those code, right? It may not be uh, used by you, but it's better to add it. So in order to uh, generate uh, other models and everything like that. So I will show you those also. Yeah, so once you have added these things, you just need to add the asset tag, uh, the asset item here, and then you have to give the path of your, uh, all the images are in your folder, right? So I have given asset slash images. Yeah, that's it, right? So once I have done that, let's see how we can create a new thing, right? So what I am doing is basically, I am adding a new, file into my uh, package or into my project so that is one.png it is just a screenshot of this code itself okay so once i have done that i will simply run a command in order to generate my whole code so the command is flutter pub run build runner build delete conflicting output why this is a very no, why should i have to use such a big uh, command right so let's see what this package gives us so let me go let me show you the pop.dev here i will go to build runner package so as it says the build runner package provides a concrete way of generating files using dart code outside of tools like pop okay so here we, you can see that there are commands build in command so here we have build command to run a single build and exit right and then we have command line option where we have delete conflicting output so it says that assume conflicting output in the user package are from previous build and skip the user prompt that's what usually be that's what you would be usually provided so basically this means that let's say you have already built uh generated the files right but then you are adding or subtracting some lines of code which is changing the state of that file right so you will create a new build and during that time if there is some conflicting items it will delete the older item instead of asking you to override it it will automatically do it so it's better to use this line along with your actual like this option along with your code so now i will run this ah uh, i got an error so let's see what is the error right it says could not format because the source could not be passed so yeah that's a valid point because i am using a p uh, i'm using a uh, number here so instead of a number, I can just say text underscore image. So let's say if you want to uh, text underscore image already exist. Okay. Oh, that's because I've already added it one time, right? So I will just delete it and I will rename this. So I will just say text underscore image. Okay. 
now let's run this uh, item again and then we'll see what we have in the generated file yeah everything is good so now if you see we will have generated uh, file there are some changes here you see this line has been added newly right a new line has been added so here you can see that uh, asset gen image type uh, class has been added now let's use this in our main website right so let's go to the home page let's see where are we using our asset yeah we are using it here so let's say i want to change the flutter kolkata image to the text one image so i can directly get access to it like this and since it says that it is a type of asset gen and not a widget right so basically i need the image type widget right so i will just call the image property and it will create a image widget for this test image okay so that's a very simple way to implement it also now if you are using block you will see that you have to write your code constantly right you have to repeatedly write your events and everything properly so you can also generate code using feast and build runner so this is a topic for different video but i will just show you how we write it so we annotate with add feast and then we write out all the uh, events that we need along with all the states here and then you get a generated code like this which will create all your required uh, functions for it okay and then you can use it similarly if in this project i am using a model i will just write a model and then i will generate the code if you see here this is not generated right but you can easily write a function or write a class and then generate the code itself which i will show you in the next video so yeah that's it in this video i will meet you guys in the next one and if you like this video you please you can please subscribe to my channel and yeah that's it thank you